Hey there, band friends. Welcome to the channel again. It's me, your host, Amy from Pan Venture, and stay tuned because we are resuming our tour of the Monte Grappa facility with part two. And uh, I'm going to showcase the atelier of creation for Monte Grappa fountain pens. Together with Giuseppe, we will showcase some of the most interesting techniques and the birthplace of the most wild bespoke fountain pens at Monte Grappa. Stay tuned. So this is our atelier, and these videos now eventually are connected to cameras uh, that are right Life on Live feed with the... Uh, forward, because we, people will not be allowed inside. They can see through the glass and through the cameras and the screen. But we, you can go, you are a VIP visitor. <laughs> uh, That's wonderful. Just to tell you for the tour. And this wall here will be uh, a timeline for the history of the brand with blown up pictures and uh, information. So this will be like... a. That's, that's wonderful. So you use a burin to engrave. So this is a special commission for Greece, as you can see, for our uh, client from Greece. So we're basically, they requested to have a replica of the Parthenon um. engraved on, uh, on the barrel. So every week there is different commissions. Yes. So and there is a variety of different uh, designs that I love that, uh, that we make. you guys uh, branched out into bespoke, offering so many options for yes. each uh, person that wants something special, something unique, and uh, I'm looking to get something like this done mm -hmm. uh, with Monte Grappa. So this is a time-consuming work and requires really great skills and uh, uh, a very uh, steady hands yes yeah, steady hands and also experience <laughs> yeah More importantly so there you see examples of uh, drawings because typically clients they can send a picture to us and then uh, uh, we create drawings actually hand drawings of the image and then renders 3D renders yeah so. the, the renders then the customer then approves and then once it's approved then the next oh stage God. will be the engraving, the, engraving the final engraving. So that's for the etching. And then uh, Alessandra here, she, she does the painting, the Aki painting, miniature painting. Now this is also a special commission. <laughs> so this is actually a gentleman, or one of our clients, who wants his picture reproduced on uh, the barrel of the pen. This is actually our Arte pen. Arte uh, is a pen where every single element of the pen is hand painted. So the cap, the barrel. So this will be on uh, the image. There, you see, that's the pen. There will be an image of the guy with his wife on the, the barrel and an image of himself on the cap. This is so, mm. so And then uh, the, nice. uh, the section as a reproduction of the texture of the birch, which is the tree uh, that they have in the forest oh, yeah. in the northern Europe. And then on the barrel there is a, actually a, a brooch that he has with a particular shape, which is reproducing on, on the blind cap. So uh, a commission like this, take this kind of painting, this yes. pen, takes about four months. Walk gentle and don't sneeze or anything like this. <laughs> Grazie. Yeah. Okay, this is for example uh, the, our extra auto, you know, the back of the clip is yeah. in red. It's, it's, it's all... Louboutin. Exactly. It is. It's so fresco, so it's really still fresh. And uh, uh, I mean, for example, this one is our climatic chamber. The climatic chamber is used to uh, actually simulate temperatures from uh, minus 20 to basically plus 50 
and different uh, humidity rates from uh, uh, 0% to 100%. So basically we test all pens and all materials uh, in, in different uh, climate environments. Oh, okay. Because you know you might send pen in Singapore where it's very humid and hot, and then some material might deteriorate or the glue might, you know, come I've off seen, or something. I've never seen someone. I've seen this in the car industry in which they are testing the cars from minus hundreds degrees or something like this or Celsius if you talk yeah. like this, and to super super hot because they were trying to explain that either you send your car to the North Pole or to Dubai. You need to simulate uh, that te those That's temperature <laughs> just to see if it so, works. Exactly. So, so this so is the this first is, time yeah, that I'm so seeing this. Is, this is uh, technology that we use. There are other technology that we use. For example, this is a vacuum generator. So this is used for enameling. You know, just to remove the air from the enamel. So you pouring uh, into the mold and you removing the bubbles, if I'm not mistaken, yes. to have a much more smoother. Uh, this is to, this to avoid, when we do the enamel, like a Harry Potter, for example, you, you see these cups here, they are cups with colors yes. on enamel. So basically, uh, when we create a color, we mix different pigments, we create a specific color. Then uh, before we apply the color, we have to extract the air from inside. Because uh, when you apply the enamel, then the air will bubble. create a bubble and then eventually a hole oh. on the surface. You will always have holes. <laughs> Always, but much less. <laughs> much less? <laughs> much less, you know. Now we have a quick glance at this whole process, which is done individually, stone by stone, and it takes a lot of patience, concentration, and uh, focus to get every single stone put into that small, small holes and to be secured inside those and it is done with the help of this uh, drilling bit and it is so satisfying to watch craftsmen work on this procedures so basically this is what stone setting is I think this is the cap part from the queen's pan, so I believe that goes on top of the cap, this crown which is uh, covered in semi-precious stones, I think this is made out of silver. Here we have another look at uh, a procedure which implies applying enamel to silver parts. For example, this is a cap or barrel, I'm not sure, of the Harry Potter edition writing instrument, which uh, you can see that uh, a syringe filled with enamel, green enamel, is going to be used in order to fill the gaps which are left on purpose on the metal and using a pedal we have uh, pressure which is applied through that hose into the syringe and uh, enamel flows into the gaps which are left into the metal and basically you are seeing painting on silver need a lot of focus and you need to be very precise with each and every single drop of enamel because it has to fall into a gap and not into a different place to have the silver just showing the color throughout the green part of the enamel.
For example, these are the bearings of uh, our Formula One speed pen. Yes. Okay, which are also lacquered in house, and then uh, they go through a stringent quality control, and then they need to. It's a, it's a very nice shape with the monopost uh, of the F1 car. Yes. This shape, the yes. teardrop shape. Yes, and this is done with the uh, with the five-axis uh, machining center. C uh, five axis CNC. Yeah, so so b b with the normal CNC you cannot do this kind of shape which is asymmetrical. So it is done. And this all everything you see is done in house. Thank you for spending your time with us on the Penventure YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, give it a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section down below and stay tuned because we have a lot of interesting things to see at the Montegrappa facility. We still have the machineries and uh, also the offices and there is the Pen Museum and you wouldn't believe what pens I've discovered there. Stay tuned and as soon as we have everything edited, you will be posted on the Penventure YouTube channel. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll find the links for our website, our social media accounts, email, phone number, everything that you need to get in contact with us. If you want to support this adventure, endeavor, and Penventure as a YouTube channel, please subscribe to the Penventure YouTube channel. You can do that right now. If you're not subscribed, just click here and turn the notification bell on once you're subscribed. And as soon as we have part three ready, it will be linked right here. You just click if you want to continue with the tour and enjoy. My name is Emi and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe.